hotel shuttle, the group of us, into town. Usually going to the clock tower, but we're going to go a little bit south to the post office. Unfortunately, there is no group. No, there's only, a lot of people there's in only the us. Here. Just us, the driver, and the navigator. Or his friend. So that's where we're going. Then we're going to end up at Starbucks. This Thai coffee is the best. Same thing. Post office, and Starbucks. And yeah, then we're thinking about the blue port? Blue port mall. Okay, that's where we're going. Bye. Quick jump out of the shuttle, a little jaywalking on the traffic, and we're heading to the post office. Another government building, so they're not too fond of taping on the inside. So we're gonna have to shut this down. So right now Jen is just doing some Starbucks sales business at the post office. She's shipping these somewhere else in Thailand. center port uh, plaza mall and tonight we go back at 5 30. maybe we'll go back up to the rooftop and uh, watch the sunset so she's just finishing this then we'll be done okay bye so we've left the post office got everything set, sent and shipped and now we're walking down to blue port mall a little bit of the street life. You always have to watch where your feet are going and for tall people you have to watch where your head is going. Hopefully in the middle we find a perfect balance. Just asking how much it would be for a trip down to uh, Blueport. Of course, it's too much to start, so we bargain a bit, so we agree, we don't agree, butterfly. Sorry, it's butterfly. We say, well, we can walk, and then he says, it's way too far to walk. That's crazy. And then we'll see that it's just around the corner. We're going to keep walking. More street life. The little miniature bank machines are everywhere. You can also uh, reload cell phones on some of them. Put more time. Oh, now we're gonna jump in this one here. It's good. This one might be like 10, 15, 20 baht tops. 10, 10, 10, ten baht. Uh, so the little Tuk Tuk minivan was 150. 15 times what the Sung Tao is. And this we can hang out here. Street life. So it's usually like, a, from my experience, usually like a young husband and wife with a couple of kids all in the cab trying to make money by just driving around, picking up people, dropping them off. village. 
Starbucks and Burger King in the basement. McDonald's, KFC on the second floor. Mission complete, we're gonna run to Starbucks. First through the metal detector. He wanted to see inside my bag, so I had to do a quick off because I set the metal detector off. It's probably from the plate in my head. All right, here we are, Starbucks. I don't know how I can say this, but this small, small smells really good. One of those things. They have more of the Christmas bears down here. Lots of them. Oh, they even have the polar bears. We're not inside the central area of the Blue Port food market. They've got this waterfall here that goes down. One floor. And what is this? This is a vermicelli. It's called a kanom food in Thailand. And it's just a sauce. And you had a craving for it? You love it? Yeah. As soon as we came in the food court, she found that booth and went straight to it. Myself, I found KFC, and what's more traditional than my style spicy KFC chicken sandwich combo with Pepsi? That's where we're going now. Thanks, bye. So, as the sun is setting over on the west, six o'clock, time for the national anthem. We may or may not hear it, but one thing is for sure, it's Zynga time. <laughs> Anything to add? No. Quick little run to the mall today though, Blue Point, a little Sao Tang, yeah, it was quick. Left by 2, back by 5.30, we're going to do the same thing tomorrow. It's always good to get into that part of town to uh, experience some cultural food. Like today, you probably saw I had some Thai KFC. Tomorrow, I think I'm gonna have the Thai Burger King <laughs> because the lady gave me coupons today. You don't pass up coupons, right? Uh, okay. That is not Black Rock, Black Mountain. I don't know what it's called, it's just big. But Black Mountain would be south of here. This way. Now the tide's so beautiful. After we have our little break, we're gonna go down and wander around out by the water, out this way, but it will be too dark to, uh, to video. These ones here, I think, are uh, owner-operator type. I'm just guessing that because of all the different satellites for TV, where people would just sign up for their own because they own the place. That's what I'm thinking. But the way it's designed as well, everyone faces the ocean, much like this ours, like this one that we're in. So that's it for now. Another successful day. YouTube, it's all like a log, the feature, travel, and follow, and adventure. 
Hey YouTube, it's Polar Time. My vlog will feature travel and adventure tours. Come, come along for the ride. What's stopping you? Come on, let's do this. Let's